we have the second game and that's going to be a Bible quiz. So now we are going to play this game seated. I hope you'll noticed on your table center pieces there is a table number. Did you all notice your table numbers? Yes. Does every table have a table number? Yes? Is it this side? Okay. So now, before we play this Bible quiz game, it's, the team is going to be your table. But I see that nobody is mingling. So the only criteria is you cannot sit on the same table with your own family member. If, if your family member is on that table, swap now. Right now. Swap now. How well do you know your Bible? I'm sure Pastor is very happy that he has Mrs. Pat on his team. <laughs> okay, so this is going to be played in three phases or three rounds. The first round is going to be a crossword. So every table is going to receive one crossword and a pen. <laughs> yes, so as they are distributing the crossword and the pen, one per table, you will have five minutes to answer the crossword. The top five tables that come forward with the correct answers. Please keep the, keep the crossword face down. Is everybody ready to have your pens? You have your crossword. You can discuss with your team. And your timer starts now. Gospel or six acts 
the letters and the regulations. So which category you can discuss and let us know which category would you like to play. I think this team should have all the categories ready. Old Testament. Old Testament. Okay. So scoring team, please note, table number 17 will be playing Old Testament. The next team that we have is selling table, table number 24. Yes? Okay. Beside the Old Testament, which category will you all be playing? We have plants, trees, and meditation, men in the Bible, women in the Bible, gospel, letters, the, uh, acts, letters, and Number three. Number three. Number three. Okay. Women in the Bible. Okay. <laughs> Next. Table number seven. So the answer the Table number seven. You have option plants, trees, and meditation, men, gospel, acts, or the letters and revelation. Which one? Old Testament and woman is taken. Waiting for Mrs. Shiri's team. Table number seven. <laughs> letters. Okay. So they have chosen Acts, the letters and Revelation. No. So that's going to be women. Okay, table number 18. Can you please raise your hand, table number 18? Yes, okay. So we have plants, men in the Bible, and gospel. Four. No, four. Old Testament is taken. Old Testament, women, and acts. Okay, five. We're going to go with gospel. And table number six. Can I see? Oh, all the people at the back are answering all these questions. Okay. Table number six. Which category? We have only two options remaining. Plants, trees, and meditation, or men in the Bible? Men in the Bible, two. Men in the Bible. Okay. Everybody's scared of the plants. Really? I thought everybody... Okay. Plants. You'll have only 15 seconds. Option A, Mika. Option B, Joel. Option C, Obedia. Or option D, Amos. Your answer is? Joel. Option B, Joel. Is this your final answer? See it? Okay. Lynette, can we have the answer? I'm sorry, the answer is Obedia. So you did not get a point. Okay, question number two. Can we get our Bible? No. What was the first plague that the Egyptian magicians could not duplicate? A. Water to blood. B. Locust. C. Lice. Or D. Frogs. What was the first plague? that the Egyptian magicians could not duplicate. Pastor Winston, do you want to the Old Testament? Okay, Pastor, are you sure? Okay, Pastor is going to go with option B, locust and... Put the answer. The answer is lies. Okay. Question number three. What was Queen Esther's original name? Yes, D. The answer is D. Correct. You have one point. Question four. Jail or seven or, or D Rachel. 
Are you sure? Are you discussing? Is this team discussing? I don't see anybody discussing the answer. It's supposed to be a team job. Yes? Answer is? C. Are you sure? Okay. Let us check the answer. It is correct. Okay. We're going to go to another bonus question. So you'll get five questions in total, okay? Okay, so, Lynette, can you please display the next question? Question number six, okay? This is your fifth question, okay? At what place did the Lord confound the language of all the earth? D. D, the answer is Babel. That's correct. So, first team gets three out of five. Okay.
prison miraculously? Option B, they choose. B, B. The answer is Mary. What is the shortest letter of Paul? Option A, Second Thessalonians. Option B, Second Timothy. C, Titus. D, Philomen. Option B, Philomen. Next. What is the second armor of God that Paul explained in Ephesians? Option A, peace. Option B, faith. Option C, salvation. Option D, righteousness. Option D, righteousness. Option D, righteousness. <laughs> Yes, your answer is D. Okay. And that is the correct answer. Question 4. Where were the apostles first called as Christians? Okay, they choose option B. Thank you. No, no, wrong. Yes, the answer is correct. It's the correct answer. Pastor, you should be playing for your team. Okay, question number five. In the book of Revelation, what does John see when the first seal is open? Option A, a white horse. Option B, a black horse. Option C, a red horse. Option D, a pale horse. In the book of Revelation, what does John see when the first seal is open? Option A, a white horse. Yes. So this team is leading with four points so far. Okay. Jacob's well or option D 
Jesus feeds 5,000 with few loaves of bread and fishes. Option D. D. Jesus feeds 5,000. And that is again a correct answer. Question number four. What are the first words of Jesus after his resurrection? I believe Pastor preached this particular message very recently. So this, you should definitely get this right. A. And he said unto them, Go ye into all the world and preach the gospel to all creatures. Option B. Woman, why weepest thou? Who seekest thou? C. Be not afraid. Go and tell my brother that they go to Galilee and there shall they see me. Or option D. Children, have ye any meat? Option B. Option B, woman, why are you Yes, that's the correct answer. Yes. Question number five. I told them, I told them. Yes, that means they were listening when Pastor was preaching this message. Okay, question number five. Who was the father in law of Cyphus, the high priest at the time of Jesus' death? A. Herod, B. Pontius Pilate, C. Anas, or D. Caesar? Option C, Anas. Okay, and the, that again, they have got all five correct. No, 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 they are from Abbasia. Okay, and the last team, team number six.
We have table number 18 with 5 points. That is, they are going to the next round. And we have two teams at a time. That is table number 7 and table number 6. We are at 4 points. So now, we are going to have a tiebreaker round between table number 7 and table number 6. And you are going to play the category which everybody apparently is scared of, plants, trees and vegetation. 7, table number 6. One question will be given to table number 7. If you are able to answer, and your answer is, if, you're able, if your answer is wrong, then your question will be passed on to table number 6. If they get their answer right, then that point is theirs. Okay? Same applies both ways. So, let's start with the first question for table number 7. On which day of the creation did God create trees and plants? A. First B. Second C. Third or D. Fourth Option B. Second Option B, second, is not the right answer. Okay, due to a little bit of technical difficulties, we are going to skip this question. Okay, then you chose the wrong answer. The answer was third. A. Mustard B. Cumin C. Peppercorn or D. Coriander seed Team number 6 Option B. Coriander seed Team number 6 Did team number 6 say Coriander Yes Yes, yes, team number 6 No, and the answer is Coriander seed. So they get the point. Yes. That's correct. Okay. The answer is right. So they get the point. Okay. Next question for team number seven. Under which tree was Deborah, Rebecca's nurse, buried? A. A fig tree. B, a birk tree, C, oak tree, or D, a palm tree. Yes. 
Table number seven is answering Juniper Tree. Can you please display the answer? That is absolutely six. correct. Table number six, six. Table number six, okay? Team 
team number six. Team six? No answer? They pass. They pass. Anybody from the audience? <laughs> From whom Jesus has free is free indeed. And Lynette will show us the answer. The answer is if the Son therefore should make you free, you should be free indeed. Amen. Okay. So for that round, nobody got the point. Question number four. This is for team number six. We have four images. There is a man. There is a bread basket, we have the Holy Bible, and we have a picture of the sky. Let's have a clue. Jesus said this in the wilderness. And question no, uh, clue number two is quoted from the book of Deuteronomy. Do you all have an answer? Man does not live with bread alone, but every word that proceeded from the from the mouth of, of God. Mouth of God. That is the correct answer. I would request my co-host, please pass the mic to the to the team members to answer. Okay. Question number five to team number eighteen. We have four images again. We have the Holy Bible. We have a church. We have a, a man praying and then we have some robbers. Clue. Could we have a clue please? Jesus quoted from the book of Isaiah. Can we have another clue please? This incident took place in the temple. Okay, no? Okay, we will pass it to the table number six. Do you all have an answer? Table number six, can we hear your answer, please? My house shall be a house of men. Um, My house shall be a house of prayer and uh, not ten of these. Uh, something like that. <laughs> okay, we will give this answer. Yes, and it's there unto them. It is written, My house shall be called the house of prayer, but ye have made it a den of thieves. Okay, so we'll give this point. Question for team number six. Question number six. There are five images. There is a man, there is some water droplets happening, and then there is a dove, there is a no entry sign, and then there is a big golden gate in the sky. Can we have a clue? The worst is about birth. Let's have clue number two. It is also about eternal life. Do you all know this answer? Are you going to pass? Okay, we are going to pass this question to the other team. Team number 18. Team number 18, do you all know the answer? No man can live without baptizing water and forest. And then? Jesus answered 
Verily, verily, I say unto thee, except a man be born of water and of spirit, he cannot enter into the kingdom of God. So this is their point. Give them a great round of applause. You can do better. 